In this video, what I want to demonstrate for you is a product by Ganold that is refer referred to as Thermo Gaze. Okay, this is also referred to as a heat away or burn away material. This is used as a topping in the industry. This is a substitute for your solvies that Ganold would carry. What this is primarily used for is when you're doing materials that you do not want to get wet. For example, your velvets, your velours, your denims, your corduroys, and things like that. Um, it can also be used for freestanding lace as it is a very solid woven material that you can do direct embroidery to. In this example, I've just got a shirt embroidered so you can see how the product is hooped and used and then of course removed. So we're going to finish doing this embroidery. Now keep in mind another great application that can be used for this product is coming up on the holiday season. Um, when you're doing your Christmas stockings and things of that nature that again you don't want to get wet. Once the product has been embroidered, you'll notice that we still have our, our very solid material attached to the garment, okay? Um, this can be done without the Teflon or the wax paper, but I prefer to use that. The temperature range that you want to use is going to be between 120 and 180 degrees Celsius, which would equate to about 240 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so this can be done with your, your household iron, your heat press in your shop. Um, tumble dry and even dryers for screen printers would actually work as long as the desired temperature can be achieved. Keep in mind if you're using a heat gun for your 3D puff foam, it would work just as well. Contact is normally going to be around 15 seconds. And once done, the material is actually going to turn to a light shade of brown. It's going to discolor. But you will notice that it doesn't harm or discolor the fabric that we're actually embroidering to. So from there, I've got my iron. I've got it set at my highest cotton setting, which is probably going to be around 350 degrees at the higher end. So contact at that temperature again probably about 15 seconds. A little bit less temp temperature, of course, is going to take a little bit longer contact. So from there, we're just going to hold on. I don't have a stopwatch, but that should be around 15 seconds. I'm going to remove my wax paper. And if you'll notice, we've got some discoloration. From there, the material can simply be removed, and all of the excess will just be brushed away. Again, that is a nice alternative to your delicate products other than using solving.